Hello and welcome back to this Snap Revise video. This is the last video in the Skills and Science series helping you to identify exactly which skills you need to be working on to absolutely nail your A-level science exam and get that A-star on results day. Now, A-level science subjects are known for being demanding and content heavy, and you obviously need to know your stuff if you want to fulfill as many marks as possible in that final exam. Not only that, but you also need to be able to tackle unseen concepts and link your knowledge across the entire specification. The first thing that you need to do to be able to work towards doing that is to establish a very strong knowledge base. The key to all learning is reinforcement and repetition. And to be honest, through all of my research for the YouTube content that we make, I found two things that I would recommend every time to people who are tackling their A-level revision. Number one is structured active recall. For example, using a system like the lateness system to approach your revision. I love this technique because you kind of have a game element to it where you get to arrange your flashcards and test yourself, but it's also really fantastic for progressing your knowledge or identifying areas that you need to work on a bit more. The principle of this approach is that you use a series of boxes and these reflect the time intervals over which you will revise the flashcards within them. So you start off with your pile of flashcards, go through and test yourself on all of the questions on each topic. Any questions that you get correct or any topic that you're able to recall information on easily moves forward a box. Anything that you can't recall so well stays in the original pile. Each box will indicate a different time interval that you review the flashcards inside of it. And basically the further away from the original pile that the box is, the longer the time is that you wait to go over that topic again. So the first box that you have after your original pile of flashcards is the one that you will review most regularly. So whether that's every day or every other day. And the one that's furthest away from you is the longest time interval that you will review your content. I would say make that about two weeks just to make sure that you're keeping everything fresh in your mind. After just a week, you've basically organized your whole subject into a revision plan so you know all of the topics that are in the boxes closest to you the ones that need the most work. For more detail on that revision technique and a couple of others you can check out this video just up here. So I said that there are two things that I would recommend all the time the first being structured active recall the second is past papers. There's no silver bullet when it comes to preparing for your exams. Just doing loads and loads of past papers and past paper questions really is the key. Make sure that any questions that you get wrong, you go through again with a mark scheme and with a teacher if you need to, to really address what went wrong and why. This is the only way that you're gonna learn from your mistakes and prevent you from making them again in the final exam. So the next thing that I would add on to developing your knowledge base would be to practice synoptic linking across the specification and if possible, between subjects. Part of the assessment criteria in your A-level science is this ability to make links across the specification, so make sure you're doing it in your revision as well. In simple terms, are you able to make links across your entire specification and also understand why these links exist? I talk about synoptic linking a lot more in this video just up here, so watch that for some more detailed advice, but the basic principles are dissect your specification, identify where all the links are, and then practice reinforcing this knowledge in your head by doing essay past paper questions. Questions. Start off by doing these questions in your own time and take a few minutes out to plan your response and list out all of the topics that are related in the answer and then go through and answer the question in essay form. Once you're familiar with doing this, then start doing them under timed conditions. If you want an extra challenge within your synoptic linking, see if you can make links across subjects. So can you link biology and chemistry, chemistry and physics, biology and physics? If you're able to understand these connections between your subjects and understand how they can be applied in the real world, this gives you an edge when it comes to applying to university. And if you have an interview, it just shows that you understand your subject in so much more depth than just what you have in the specification. This is where synoptic linking also helps with your ability to answer questions about unseen content. Again, we have a video about this that you can watch just up here and the key to this is having a strong knowledge base and a good appreciation for how your subject fits within the general world of science. Remember that revising for your exams isn't just a case of dedicating all of your available time to sitting and reading through your notes. Use your time efficiently by using structured active recall like the lateness system and do this consistently. Really use these videos about the key skills in science, so your practical competency, mathematical competency and ability to apply your knowledge across the specification. Always do past papers to get used to the exam conditions 
questions and to also test your knowledge. It is really the best way to strengthen that knowledge inside your mind and just be consistent in your revision. If you want a three month structured plan to prepare you in this final run up to your exams, then check out this video just here. It's got loads of views so far, so clearly it's very popular and hopefully lots of people are finding it useful. And to keep up to date with Snap Revise, subscribe to our channel just over here. Thank you for watching, good luck in your exams and hopefully see you again on the Snap Revise channel soon.